Hello Capricorn and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Sagittarius season astro tarot reading. This is a general tarot reading meant for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you. For more messages, I recommend that you check out the other astrological signs that correspond to your natal sun, moon, Venus, and or rising. So let's get into your reading, Capricorn. We begin Sagittarius season on Tuesday, November 22nd, when the sun enters Sagittarius at 3.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the sun remains in Sagittarius until Wednesday, December 21st, when the sun enters Capricorn, your sign, at 4.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, welcoming in the winter solstice. So we have the new moon in Sagittarius occurring on Wednesday, November 23rd, but just before the moon moves into Sagittarius, it's in void course in Scorpio, and that's where we have the crone moon or the dark moon, and that moon is going to trine with Jupiter retrograde in Pisces, as well as Neptune retrograde in Pisces. And this is, Jupiter magnifies whatever's around it. And Neptune is very dreamy and dissolves uh, those things that we don't need. It puts us kind of in a twilight zone. And with Jupiter there, it's going to expand that energy. So let's take a look at the Sacred Rebel Oracle. I feel that Sagittarius is a bit of a rebel energy. So let's get an overview of your energy here, Capricorn, in Sagittarius. Okay, we have, okay, number 29, seeing the true you. Okay. And let's look at the new moon energy which, as I said, the moon enters Sagittarius, giving us the new moon when it conjuncts with the sun on Wednesday, November 23rd at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone on the planet. We also have Jupiter in Pisces going direct just a few minutes after the new moon at 6.02 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So again, Jupiter is about magnifying what is around it. And we have this new moon, which is a great time for setting new intentions. Okay, we have a step out of your comfort zone with the North Node. Well, that could be uncomfortable for you in seeing the true you. You're going to see aspects about yourself that you didn't notice or you weren't aware of because as we grow and change and age, we, we shift. And now we're seeing ourselves for who we are at this time. And for you, Capricorn, that might be a little uncomfortable, but stepping out of your comfort zone is what's going to expand your new growth. Because again, we have that Jupiter going direct in Pisces. Then on Thursday, November 24th, we celebrate Thanksgiving in the United States and the universe is blessing us with good vibes. People are gonna be getting along and 
everybody's going to be kind of easy going. However, the following day with that Black Friday, things can get crazy because the moon is going to make a loose T-square with Mars retrograde in Gemini. That can create some disagreements and then we have Jupiter there which can blow those disagreements up into big arguments. However, we also have Neptune retrograde in Pisces to be like, what were we even arguing about? Was it really that important? So then on Saturday, December 3rd, Neptune in Pisces is going to go direct at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then on Wednesday, December 7th, we have the Gemini full moon at 11.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's look at your full moon energy, which is a great time for manifesting and completing as well as illumination. And here we have the last quarter moon in Pisces with talk less and feel more. Okay, this is what's going to help you see more of the true you. You're going to be getting in touch with your emotions, which can be uncomfortable for Capricorn because Capricorn is kind of a no-nonsense sign. They're very organized. Um, and now let's take a peek at Animal Spirit to give us some more information. Okay, and we start with the White Raven Spirit. Trust in magic. Well, that could be part of stepping out of that comfort zone. And we have number 66 there. Next, we have the moth spirit. Surrender now. Yeah, surrender to your feelings. Talk less. Feel more. Trust in the magic. Because all of that is swirling around to help you see the true you at this time in your life. Now, let's go into the tarot. Because on Tuesday, December 20th, as we're closing out Sagittarius season, we have a Scorpio void course moon trining with Neptune. Now, Neptune's direct now. So this is going to be a great time for some deep thinking and clearing up some of those confused emotions. You're, you're going to understand them because you've been in this space. Uh, you might even be looking in the mirror. And I would advise looking in the mirror, looking at yourself. And don't talk to yourself, but just feel. How would you feel if you met that person on the street? Looking at your reflection. How would you feel meeting that person for the first time? This will help you feel more about and how other people may perceive you and see you. And you might discover your power of magic here. And it's time to surrender to that. Okay, let's get into the tarot for you. We start with the Queen of Pentacles. Well, this happens to be ruled by Capricorn. How appropriate. How do you fit into your community? What do you have to offer your community? Perhaps you need to become more involved with your community, which is kind of making you step out of your comfort zone. 
Then we have the Nine of Wands. You've been protecting something, and quite often when we're feeling defensive, it's because of past experiences where we've got knocked on the head and we're putting up our boundaries. And perhaps for you, you also need to put up your boundaries. Make sure that you have time for yourself as well as your community, which does include your friends. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. This is financial rewards. This could be a promotion, a raise, a change of jobs. Here we have the hangman. Okay, um, taking a pause to see the true you, surrendering to the now. And I like it with the, this moth spirit because the hangman is much like this moth still in cocoon. It's inside its cocoon. It was a caterpillar. Now it's a pupa. And it's dreaming of being a moth or butterfly. There is transition going on here. You are gaining deeper understanding of who you are. You're feeling more of where you're at. Next, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is family-related uh, resources, uh, inheritance. This could be your ancestors. The DNA that you've inherited from your ancestors, this of course can also be money that you inherit and what you do with that money. Next, we have the Three of Cups. We have celebration here, but there is caution with this Three of Cups. Uh, you're only letting in a select few to celebrate with, and they might be close friends and family, uh, friends that are more of your extended family. But you're very careful of who you let into your inner circle. Next, we have the King of Cups. This is part of that talk less, feel more. Uh, you're not sharing your emotions with other people. You're keeping it to yourself because this is something that's private, you know, and that's also part of this talking less and feeling more. You're feeling guarded and wanting to protect how you feel. And the King of Cups is master of his emotions. Next, we have the Hierophant with the hangman. Okay, this, this is some changes within your mind of how you feel about your personal spirituality. You may not feel comfortable in a traditional kind of uh, religious setting. However, the Hierophant does represent organized religion because here we have the pope and the bishops you know that are there before him and then we have the keys to the kingdom of heaven which the pope or the hierophant is a direct channel to so there is a direct channel here from the hangman to this hierophant where you might have felt um, there is a surrender here because with the hangman I think of Odin who hung from the Yagdrasil tree um, to gain inner knowledge and information which he could bring back to his community to help them to decide where to go next, what to do next. And um, also, it was a very, and is a very spiritual practice. 
Let's look into the wisdom. We have mending with 52. Okay, there is a mending of friendships, of relationships, but most importantly, a mending with the relationship with yourself so that you can see your true self. You regain some of your power, some of your resources. You discover an aspect of yourself that you didn't know was there and it's so much bigger than you thought. Next we have imagine. How beautiful. As vast as your imagination. Next we have the fates with number 17. So we have 52, 20, and 17. And uh, it's like this is meant to be what has happened or what is going to be happening to you during the Sagittarius season is meant to happen. Your, it's like your crown chakra is being activated and you are receiving beautiful downloads of information of who you are and what you're here to do. You came here with a purpose. Let's check out your starlight. We have control. Link your own constellations and take control. Again, seeing the true you. Talk less and feel more. And stepping out of your comfort zone. Look at your constellations. And Capricorn, you are in many ways about control. You're an earth sign. And here we have the morning star. Keep shining even when the others have quit. Well, the morning star is Venus in the morning. And it's that love energy. You keep shining. And that's under imagination. So here with the control and mending, you're linking your own constellations with your understanding of them. And then with the morning star, where you keep shining, even when the others have quit, that's the spark of your imagination, of your creativity. And next we have self-care. Spoil yourself in the moonlight. Uh, part of the fates here. And here we have all the stars here we have the moon um, and seeing the truth. Do you need to make adjustments in how you care for yourself? Do you need to eat better? Do you need to exercise? Do you need to do some deep emotional healing as you're shifting through the phases of your life? So I'm going to end your reading here, Capricorn. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this reading, uh, please give me a thumbs up, like it if you want, subscribe if you like, and until next time, take care.